Businesses are everywhere, in cities around the world. And today, we'll be taking a trip to Chillicothe, Missouri, and we'll be talking about a few businesses there. Our first stop will be Triple J's Embroidery and Screen Printing. My name is Josh. Um, I'm half owner of Triple J. Uh, my brother's the other owner. That's my brother. On a daily basis, I do a lot of things between answering the phone, emails, work some, help customers, sort out product, everything that needs to be done. Pretty much any embroidery or screen printing product from hats to shirts to jackets to shorts to everything in between. We get several emails, phone calls, Facebook messages, text messages. It varies on the week but there's several. Um, as far as that goes, we get around somewhere between 75 and 300 products done a day, pretty much every day of the week, depending on the size of the account and you know the complexity of it. So it's more pretty much that in that we get that much turned out about every single day. Triple J started April of 2003. Um, we started it down in our home and outside of Bramer, out in the country. Um, we did there for a while. I think in 2012, we moved to Chillicothe. And so we've been here going on about 11 years. Uh, first started, my brother actually had a couple businesses with a partner. He owned a couple franchises in a mall called Hat Zone or Hat World and moved away and ran those for a while and then him and I both moved back home and we decided to try it here and make a go of it. Our next stop on this trip will be the Charmed Nook store, just a few doors down from the Triple J's. My name is Wendy Wilson. I live here in Chalcothy and the name of my store is the Charmed Nook. Um, let's see, we, we opened um, May 2nd of 2019 and uh, we have been, so we've been here maybe four years um, in May and it is this, what we're made up of in here is um, vendors. So the reason I opened the business was because I had um, been painting and so I wanted to uh, open a business that I could have vendors come in and do uh, their crafts and things that they enjoy and love doing and, and painting was what I enjoyed doing and floral arrangements so uh, I invited uh, I had at one time about 42 vendors in here and um, so that's what we do is um, crafting and some of them buy uh, products to sell and um, but we have a lot of variety. So we have, um, uh, we usually participate in all the events uh, throughout the year that the Chamber and Main Street have um, and we um, so we try to we also donate to most of the organizations that come around and ask for donations so we try to do that and uh, just um, try to have um, you know a variety of items that everybody uh, is, we would be interested in, so anyway, <laughs> I guess that's probably about it. Um, just uh, we just really enjoy uh, the community and all the people, and um, the vendors just enjoy making all their stuff because I have a lot of items, and the vendors have a lot of items. I mean, like that one earring rack has probably got could possibly have a hundred earrings on it so uh, it's just hard to say I'd say uh, several thousand maybe things in here um, just you know, so many little things and, and stuff like that our last Locust Street business is Beamers 
Hello, my name is Marcia Beamer, and my husband James and I were the previous owners to Beamer's Men's Apparel and Beamer's Women's Apparel. My husband and I were both teaching at Chillicothe High School, and in uh, 1975, he, my husband purchased Browns for him, which was a men's clothing store, and decided to open and get a, go in business for ourselves in men's clothing. So it was April of 1975. Well, he also had a business degree as well as an industrial arts degree in teaching and was interested in business and the business became for sale and he thought it would be a good investment. My husband and I owned Beamers and had expanded to ladies as well um, until 2016 when uh, we had sold the ladies part before that. But in 2016, my husband passed away and um, I came back to work for within three days to keep the business going. And But four months later, I was successful in selling the business to Mr. Randy Brammer, who now owns Beamers for him. Beamers has changed in lots of ways, but in lots of ways it has not. On the appearance on the inside, it looks a lot, just about like it did in 1975 as far as decor. Uh, when we closed the ladies' side, we did close the opening between the two businesses, so that is different. As far as what's carried, uh, it has continued to stay with the times and update clothing. and. Mr. Brammer, the new owner, has continued to uh, include more usable clothes and um, we still do a wonderful business in tuxedos and, and prom tuxedos and weddings and also letter jackets are another huge sale and they've been sold at Beamer since 1975. Uh, my name is Pam Robertson and I've been here 32 years. I started doing alterations for her for prom dresses and wedding gowns, and then I came over here and helped James do suits and sport coats. We don't have taxes every week. Um, we rent about a hundred per year for proms, and then we have some weddings throughout the year. They come from as far north as Milan, maybe. We've had some Kirksville customers. Um, to the south, we do Bramer, Carrollton. So, it's quite a big area. Those were just three businesses, but there are many more around the world. I hope you enjoyed our trip around businesses.